Alright, hey guys, it's me, again. And today I'm going to be reacting to the DOA5 Priestess and Dark Princess mod. And I guess with no further delay, let's get this underway. Okay, here we go. Don't forget to subscribe! Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, this mod, I can, I can see working, you know, for these two. Yeah, I can, I can see it working for Yutengu and Helena. I can see it working. I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, maybe these two, you know, maybe this mod could work as, like, I don't know, a DLC outfit, you know? Just saying. Yeah, and to be honest with you, <laughs> I, uh, I personally think, yeah, these mods kind of make sense. Sometimes, more than some of their actual outfits they actually have in DOA 5. Yeah. Not exactly one of those, um, how do I do it nicely, examples where, you know, trying to prove, you know, like, a mod is, you know, better than an, better than an outfit that's actually in the game. Well, in this case... Yeah, I think the mod got it, you know, in the bag. Because, honest to God, sometimes their DOA 5 outfits, they just don't work, you know? I'm not saying they're bad, no, no, no. <laughs> it's just sometimes they just don't work. In this case, they do. Yes, they do. <laughs> yeah. So, do I think this mod could have could work for for new Tango? Yeah, I think it could. And I'm not joking about this, you guys. So, if you did like this reaction. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, click that bell to be notified for possible future videos. Share this video around if you want to. And guys, I hope you guys are having a great day. And I hope you guys have a good day tomorrow. And, uh, and guys, till next time. Yeah.